Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Sword. Last time we went through the Tower of Darkness and turned Kung Fu into this big guy, Urshifu, single strike style. And yeah, he's a big boy. Um, in this episode, well, we were supposed to go back to the dojo, but in between episodes, A, I got a new outfit. Hope you guys like the look. And I've done a few things. For starters, take a look at the amount of watts I have. Yeah, I kind of did a little bit of grinding for watts. The way you do that is you go over to this area in the training lowlands, and you talk to this guy, Digging Paw, trading, uh... I believe it's seven Arminite ores for him to dig up watts for you. And sometimes he'll get like a good rush of stuff. And you can get a crap ton. I've gotten like over half a million in one go one time. So I kind of used all my all the uh, Arminite that I got from a uh, from a mystery gift recently to do that, as well as do a few max raid battles off camera to I uh, didn't want to go to the Pokemon. I wanted to go to my bag. Because I've gotten 12 max mushrooms. I have enough to uh, Gigantamax quite a few Pokemon. So, yeah, I've been busy in between episodes. <laughs> that took a long time, mind you. Anyway, let's go ahead and go into the dojo and see what awaits us. Oh, well, look who it is. Oh, welcome back, Ray. Looks like you've been hard at work keeping up your training here at the dojo, eh? Ah, what are you doing here? Surprise! And nicely done, Ray. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Armor to do research more about the Dynamax phenomenon. So, I hear that you two are friends. How delightful! Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun in mucking around in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here, at the dojo. I mean, it would be loads easier than camping out for a long while, but would I be in the way? Everyone's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master's Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're the little brother of our Leon, after all. Yeah, that's... it's true. Lee did train here when we were both kids. All right then, Master Mustard, you've twisted my arm. Hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. Woohoo, the more the merrier. I'm pleased as punch in a gold-plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, Ray, I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kabfu, or really its evolution, Urshifu. It's tr the truth is the lovable rascal is capable of gigantamaxing too. But it's a bit tricky because it can't really stand the taste of max mushrooms. So max soup is off the menu unless you can make it more appealing to it. There's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor, though, that'll make even Urshifu gobble down a bowl of max soup. And that certain something is... That certain something is... That certain something is actually... The suspense is killing me. Actually, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> you are ever more fun to tease than your brother ever was. That certain something I'm thinking of is sure to make Max Suit more palatable to Urshifu. There's something to do with another Pokemon. Now that I think now I think I'll let you two figure it out just what it is. Give it a good think together. You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, so get cracking. Hey, please don't mention that Pokemon. It's, uh, how's... Is this a how your training usually goes? I've really got no Rapidash in this race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. I think I read something about Urshifu in a book once, too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said it lives in the mountains of some far-off region. Does it really? Huh, you didn't know? You don't have one... Don't you have one, right? But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Right! 
Honey is made from the nectar and flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that looks like flowers and plants. If we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, then I reckon we might be able to find... There might be lots in a forest. I'll be able to look into Dynamaxing along the way, so count uh, me in for some exploration. There's a forest past the big marshland, right? But I can still beat you there! Still eager as always, Hop, eh? <laughs> anyway, there's actually something I wanted to do while I was here. So, yes. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and give, uh, Mordred some Max Soup. Alright, there you go. Next, I also wanted to give someone else some, uh, Max Soup. That is Morgan. So now I have at least... Well, I have a couple of uh, people on my team that can Gigantamax now, so that's good to know. <laughs> Alrighty, and the reason why I got the Watts is for Honey over here, but we'll do that another time. For now, I think we should move on with the story and head on out to the forest with where Hop is waiting. So, see you all in a moment. Alright, here we are. Finally, Ray, I've been waiting forever for you. Oh, get off me. I barely... I had to do some stuff, okay? I thought Glimwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. I mean, in a way, yes, though. How did you get lost in a prairie? Are you taking after your brother a bit more? It's so hot and humid and I'm sweating a pond over here. Sonya and I split up places to survey and she opted for the cold and snow and all. Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us, too. We'd both feel a little better. Anyway, I was checking out the, this Forest of Focus place while I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs that Lilligant and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu sh should love from the flowers and fruit. Well, that's certainly an option. So... Oh! What's this? Look, it's a Petalil! Petalil evolves into Lilligant, which is the, just the Pokémon we're looking for. Eh. Hey, doesn't that Petalil seem to be acting a bit strange? Looks sort of... lost. Yeah, now that you mention it. It's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents? Aww. Poor little thing. Dilly Lil. Whoa, what are you glowing on to, mate? You must really you must be be lost if you think I'm your mum. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You got a plan to help us out here, Ray? Go find us one of the Pellos parents or something, would you? Look for some worried looking Lilligant. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Aw, that's cute. That's really adorable. So, yeah, we need to go look for its parent. <laughs> yeah, that's a cute little distraction, I suppose. Now, where could it be? Also, who knows, I might actually run into a, uh... A, a nasty Pokémon on the way! <laughs> Alright, not up here. Hi, Among Us. Bye, Among Us. Alright. Not over here. Oh! Here we go. Well... Well, I think we found the parent. Lil? Have you lost the pedal, Lil? Lil again! Lil again wants to follow you. All right. Follow me. It's a little bit slow, but it'll be fine. Alrighty. I think we should be good. 
Just don't get on the bike, otherwise it might uh, have trouble. Oop, sorry Pikachu, don't want to fight you. Alright, hey Hop, we're back. Finally, Ray, and you found Lilligant. Aww, adorable. <laughs> Looks like they're both happy to see each other. What do you think, Ray? It says Lilligant's trying to thank you. Huh, is this some nectar from your flower, Lilligant? Aww. Well, they seem to be happy. See ya, Petalil. See ya, Lilligant. Nice one, Ray. Now we got some of Lilligant's nectar. Hopefully this nectar is sweet and sticky just like Urshifu likes it. Hmm. I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Applin's nectar a try next. Ugh. Well, we still gotta keep looking. Anyway, I wonder where we could find an Applin. Not there. And let's see. Oh! <laughs> hey there, little guy. There, it's an applin. Apple way. Applin, no wait. This is rotten. I don't see that applin. <laughs> nice pun there, Hop. But I'm sure we'll, it went rolling off this way. We gotta find it. Well, gee, I wonder where it could be. Let's give it a good sh this tree a good shaking. <laughs> Something wrong with that berry tree? <laughs> the Applin clocked you right on the head. Ow! A whaling. <laughs> Ugh, it ran off again. Huh. Ray, is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. This might get us to slip, but at least we still got what we came for. Was this Applin nectar sweet enough for Urshifu? Well, they s well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding, or the Applin, so let's give it a try. Did you- I hope to god you didn't just lick my head. You don't really describe it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Hop, you're a bit weird. Lilligan's nectar, wasn't it? Applin's nectar, wasn't it? They weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers, but I was just barking up the wrong tree. Whoa, a venipede! I don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can't actually produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. <laughs> I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is Pokemon that uses the sword nectar to produce something else. You just noticed, Hop? <laughs> yes, and when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? Beehive Pokemon! <laughs> the Beehive Pokemon's gotta be the answer, I'm sure of it this time. And Vespic Queen's the Beehive Pokemon, right? Ray, have you ever seen one? They were talking about the Isle of Armor. I think we should find some on the island shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. Now that we know where we're going, I'm off. Don't make me wait, Ray. Uh, well, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this part of it is kind of really dumb. 
like in a lot of ways. I mean, I was thinking it was Honey from the get-go when I first went to Honeycomb Island. But that's what happens when you decide to derp around, so let's go ahead and run over here. Don't get attacked by Sharpedo, don't get attacked by Sharpedo! Oi! And... Here we go! Uh... No, oh, there's even Petalil here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out Mordred for the front. There you are, Ray. Glad you finally made it. I've seen loads of Combi around here, but no sign of Vespaquin so far. But they're the ones that have sticky honey. Huh. I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off now? Well, I mean, there's a bunch of spots around here. Is it reacting to this tree here? Something's gotta be up, Ray. I think we should check it out. Well, I mean, there's also power spots, or I guess dens all over, so... Oh wait, I think those might be different from one another. There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? Oh shit. Oh beehive! <laughs> Whatever that thing was sucked you into the Pokemon's den. <laughs> okay, I forgot about that. So yeah, we've got ourselves a Gigantamax fight, one-on-one -on -one versus a Vespaquen. All right. <laughs> We're both putting on the pressure. <laughs> All righty, so let's go ahead and show off Mordred's new Gigantamax form. G, show off G Max Wind Rage. All right, let's show this off. The birds truly become a dark knight. <laughs> Ooh, fair amount of damage. You're returning it in tow. But thankfully my leftovers will keep me strong and stable. Ah, let's keep doing this. Ooh, nice. Attack order. Eh, not going to do much, sadly. I don't know if we'll be able to beat it by the time it's, uh... Yeah, I think this'll be it. Yeah, gonna revert back to normal, uh... Normal form, but... I think we'll be fast enough to deal with this Vespaquin. First time I fought this, I didn't have the right Pokémon out, and it actually completely clobbered my, uh... Pokémon because I decided to switch out, and so I couldn't Gigantamax right away. Well, you did pretty well. Now let's put it, let's uh, end this off. Nice. Down it goes. Have you calmed down? Your royal pain in the ass? The aftershock of the battle caused a strange comb of honey to fall from above. Max honey. 
Honey the Dynamax Vespaquin produces. Adding this honey to Max Soup makes the taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a Max Revive. Why the fuck would I use it as a Max Revive? I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vespaquin to come swooping out to attack us. I was so shook they didn't even think of joining you in the battle. Eh, yeah, don't worry about it. That's some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's the certain something Urshifu loves. And it seems like the honey was setting off my that power spot detector too. The max mushrooms and this honey you can find here on the Isle of Armor. They both seem to have the, some kind of tie to Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing. There's tons we don't know about it, so there's tons of research just waiting to be done. Come on! You got the thing you were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo at once. Yeah, I guess we do have what we need. And we still got a little time left, so let's go ahead and hop on back. Been a busy day, wouldn't you say? Alrighty, back in here. Welcome back, my wandering Wooloo. Oh, what is that sweet scent I detect, wafting through the air around you? <laughs> That'd be the max honey that Urshifu loves to the max. We got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you now, already? If you put me and Ray on it, old man, there's something the two of us just... There's nothing the two of us can't do together. <laughs> you did a real bang-up job finding that max honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, Ray, and our little hop, too. You didn't forget for a second what that certain something was, did you? <laughs> you got me. If we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Urshifu will want a sip. Well, it's been real, Ray, but I think you've learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle, with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come, after all. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're really ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. Well then. Master's going to give it his all. Battling the master when he's serious? That's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee all he knows, so Muster's gotta be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for serious battle, Ray. Guess I'd better start getting serious about the research I came to do, too. Good luck with your things, Ray. I'm sure you'll manage, like you always do. I'll come dashing right back to catch the battle, though, if you do try taking on Master Mustard. Well, before we do that... There's a certain bear that needs, uh, leveling up. Alright, Shura. And a max honey, of course. Alrighty. Nice, nice, nice. I think I'm gonna switch up my team a little bit. I think... Let's see. Oh, wait. I think I'll go ahead and bring back, uh, Morgan. I'm probably not going to Gigantamax her for the fight, but I kind of missed having her on the team. So then, if I recall right, didn't we get, uh... Yeah, we did get Master Mustard's uh, ba uh, thing, and we also got Clara's as well. I don't remember if I uh, if I looked at this one. Mustard is the former fighting type gym leader and is regarded by one of uh, the strongest champions in Galar history, reigning undefeated for 18 years. His intense drive for strength meant he insisted on discipline, both in himself and others. His character cha changed drastically, however, after his post-regiment globetrotting. His sudden purchase of a deserted island added to the surprise of those around him. When asked for the, his reasoning, he answered with a smile, There are lots of ways to be strong in this world, and I want to see them all. The name Isle of Armor was also his idea. <laughs> a very serious uh, fighter. 
<laughs> and we're going to be facing him in a moment. Did I actually look at Clara's thing? Uh, yeah, that was her original one. I want to... Hmm. All right. I know she gives you a second one, I don't remember how, but... Well, in the next episode, we're going to be taking on Master Mustard proper, and, well, finishing up the Isle of Armor DLC. That's going to be a little bit interesting, to say the least. So, I guess, until then, this has been Rain Moonwolf, signing out. Later, guys, and have a good day.